refugee has become almost like a, a race. People describe it as a separate entity in itself. And actually what it is, it's a term to remind us of our duty to protect and to care for others. That's what that term is about. The current refugee crisis is the largest since World War II and the crisis of our time. Refugees are taking crazy risks over land and by sea and the consequences for thousands, if not millions, is quite simply beyond our Western imaginations. The reason why Isla Milcordi lie dead on that beach is not an accidental reason. It's because there are laws that prevent him and his family to come and uh, apply for asylum in a straightforward way. Human lives are traded between nations and countries just to prevent a higher number of people to arrive to the shores of Europe. Americans and Europeans attribute more value to the lives of Westerners than they do to the lives of people from developing countries. It helps if you have money, it helps if you're educated, it helps if you, you know, have connections in the place where you're, you are or you're trying to be. Those things help, but by and large, especially for a stranger who sees you in the street, they base a lot of it on the color of your skin and then the way you talk. It comes down to race. It's about me, I'm shocked. I'm shocked for me. The crisis has triggered a surge of xenophobia and racism throughout Europe and beyond. We have contributed to, to create the problem. And, and the reality is that the amount of Europe hosts only 6% of the 21 million refugees in the world, 6%. The majority, more than 80% of the refugee population of the world is hosted in the Middle East and Africa. Most of what the media has portrayed of mainly the Muslim population, the Arab population, the Afghan population, is that they're terrorists, that they're criminals. But that is not anywhere near this, like these amazing people here. Some say fear is the false evidence against reality and on the ground, at the coalface of the crisis, we see a completely different reality. The goodwill has not really come from governments. It's come from individuals, it's come from charitable organisations, it's come from people's hearts. And there one has seen an outpouring of energy, care, compassion. We talk about refugees, we say the refugees in the plural form, we kind of refer to them as this faceless entity, and I'm as guilty as anyone else of employing that expression. But I think now I, I'm uneasy to say the refugees. They're not just the refugees, they're just people. We're not politics, we have not religions, we are just human beings that help other human beings. I asked a foreigner once, would you bring your dog to live in this condition? And she yelled and said, oh my god, no, a dog. So how do you expect our children to live there? This is my journey, my journey to humanity's heart.